Un Academy. Let's crack it. Hi everyone, this is Asta Singh from Rajiv Gandhi National University of Law and today I'll be covering some tips and tricks with you guys on how I cleared my CLAT. So I come from the city of Delhi and my college is Rajiv Gandhi National University of Law which is in Patiala and is 11 kilometers away from the main city. And I think everything I wanted to cover has been covered in the live session with Aishi Rajput on their An Academy YouTube session. So now I'll be covering my CLAT journey and how I started preparing for it. So in 11th standard, I was not much clear about what I wanted to do with my life. But then later on when I came to 12th, I became pretty clear that CLAT is the way through it. And then I started going to NLU's websites, to NLU Jodhpur's website, to NLS's website to check out what all their fee structure was and what kind of programs they were giving there. And then I started searching websites on how to give CLAT and what was CLAT all about. Then I discovered that you need to go for coaching and by that time I was unclear because I was already busy with my 12th academics so I could not focus that what kind of practice or what kind of coaching should I go for. So I went online, I searched for a few books that would offer me the same uh, mocks or practice sections that the, that the coaching centers would be offering me. So uh, I found LexisNexis and later on realized how important LexisNexis is to law students. So LexisNexis have their own book series which offer you for practicing CLAT. So I ordered them and then I started reading English passages on my own. And then one thing uh, that has been clear in my own house was reading newspapers. Even if I did not read the whole articles, I always read the headlines which helped me in my GK. So my GK was pretty clear, but in CLAT obviously you need to go through extensive research on your GK. So while I was doing my Lexis, Lexis Nexus practice books, I realized that was not enough. I needed to give mock tests and more concentration was required and that environment can only be provided by coaching. Other students that I know have done it without coaching also but obviously coaching helps. So I went to a coaching center, I joined in there and then uh, I had a career launcher. So then there they gave me my uh, book packages and then I started studying on my own. I did not wait for the classes to resume. So I understand there's a lot of pressure that comes from the boards it's okay take your time just take out a few few minutes of your days in the beginning and then start developing that habit of doing it i think it's better to start off with english passages because it makes it easier for you to get used to reading because uh, i have i've known that people one if they start reading without practicing what happens is it comes as a surprise to them and they're not able to retain all the knowledge that is given in their passages. So I would suggest to start with reading passages in English. Uh, so I've written down all the information that I have for you guys. So uh, stay on top of news guys, order the books that you have if you're able to get them or join a coaching, uh, uh, or join a coaching if you can. So now moving towards the easy sections, the difficult sections that I had in my CLAT. So when I gave my CLAT, it was online and uh, long passages for legal studies did not come. Now long passages come for legal studies. I would suggest for students to go for the questions first. Read the questions, the kind of questions that are asked and then go for the passage. It makes it clear for everyone to know what all questions are asked and then you pay attention to those particular lines. Now, I would suggest you should not read into the passages. You are not a legal mind as of yet. Go ahead and read it with a blank mind. That is how the paper, paper makers have intended it to become. Now, difficult sections. I come from a commerce with maths background screen, but the maths that was given in the paper is 10th maths. So I knew all the differentiation and integration and narrowing it down to 10th became a little 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 difficult for me so i decided not to focus on maths when i was starting my paper so i started my paper with gk because gk takes less time either you know the answer or you don't know the answer there is no in between there is no guessing that this might be okay or this not, might not be okay so i took up gk then i went with logical then i went with my legal and then i went with my english and the last was left for maths i would suggest you should also manage your time really well to 
manage your time box is always the way to go but if you're unable to give 3 hours or 2 hours or 4 hours a day to your mock tests you should always go for sections always always do a section daily you have to do it daily if you don't do it daily things would not become clear and you would not go into the habit of giving papers because at the end of the day you have to sit still for 2 hours and attempt 150 questions so now for the easier part that i had i always like logical reasoning i had always given olympiads etc so they helped me out in my logical reasoning so i go from gk to logical to lo- uh, to legal reasoning and then english and then lastly maths so divide your time so that you can attempt all the questions and if you want to come back to certain questions that you have doubt in you are able to come back to those and now moving on for clat so when i was preparing for my clat i told you that i was a little confused in my 12th standard and my 11th standard what i wanted to do but once i came to know and i ordered my lexis nexis books one thing was clear to me that i had to had to end up in my nlu in any nlu it would work for me i had no desires for top 5 i would have been happy with them i would have been happy with any of the law schools but i made it clear to myself that i will end up in a hostel and i will go to an lu i know it may sound a little philosophical but once you manifest certain things they do work out for you so this was clear to me from the very beginning that i will go to an lu and i made my lifestyle into that particular area I was focused on my studies in my academics. I did not let go of my academics because of my CLAT. I have known certain people who let go of their academics. Don't do that. You have to do it and you will do it. Don't pressurize yourself also. It's okay sometimes to let go. It's okay to take a day break, but that does not mean you have to take 3 days break together. Believe me, that breaks the track and you have to get back on it. So now moving towards motivation. My motivation was that i wanted to live in a hostel i know it sounds a little superfluous now that my motivation was not to become a great lawyer or to go for great firms but that was my motivation you have to find small motivations to do big things now my motivations are different but that was my motivation back then so now stress buster stress busters are very important if you want to take a days break take a days break but every day do some things for yourself so that you don't become very stressed in your 12th standard or if you're taking a drop you should always always have a stress buster my stress buster was 15 minutes meditation every day i know it sounds very difficult that how can you sit still for 15 minutes but if you try it becomes a habit and then you can do it you can have your music i had fictional books i read a lot of agatha christie while i was preparing for my clat i know it's not that great but i i liked it at that particular point of time and you know it 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 is a stress buster anything can be a stress buster cooking can be a stress buster walking can be a stress buster don't underestimate yourself anything and everything will work out for you so now when i reached my exam hall that is the day the the d day is here so the day i reached mine was i think in the middle of the may and the center was very hot they had no acs there were 60 screens in that particular hall and it was so hot i would suggest you should always always read your exam instructions twice before you leave your house always carry a water bottle and always have a towel hanky with you the towel hanky will help you with great things i am not joking guys i felt i was feeling so hot when i sat in that hall i thought i would hyperventilate but then uh, i had some water i calmed myself down i closed my eyes for a little bit i understand that you have to reach a certain a reach uh, i think one hour before the exam starts for verification and everything take your time take deep breaths don't think of it as too much it's just another mock test that you are taking if you stress about it too much then you'll start thinking about it too much then don't think we are not here to overthink we are here to attempt a paper which is going to turn out great for you so uh, for all the law exams that i gave uh, clat was not the only one i gave four exams i gave symbiosis exam i gave clat i gave uh, aielet and i gave mhcet so mhcet happens a little later than clat and i did not even go for my result because i had already gotten my update list 
and the uh, I had already filled my admission fee for CLAT, so I did not like think it through when I did not go for MHCT. You can go for MHCT also. Government Law College Mumbai is a great college to go in. And now uh, I think the pattern has changed a little bit. Now legal passages are there. So be careful on how you read your legal passages. Don't stress it, stre- stress it out too much. It's perfectly fine to take your time. Make it a habit to read. I think guys, that's the only way to go because long passages will take time if you read them the first time. Once you start reading things, it becomes easier for you to understand. I would also suggest trying try reading newspaper articles or comprehension articles sitting in your drawing room. Because drawing room is a place where conversations take place. If you are able to understand a comprehension article while your family is talking and having different types of con- like different type of conversation, your concentration will increase immensely. I am I am betting on it, guys. I did it and it worked out great for me. So now that we have talked about sectional texts. Uh, tests and the reading that you should take upon now i'll come to my journey when i got into clad so after i got admitted to clad uh, i went to the college got admitted they gave me certain uh, instructions on as to how to follow and what to do when i come to the college so we had an orientation week before rest of the college joined in so the first years reach 15 days earlier then second third fourth fifth year and llm reaches the college so that the uh, first years are able to get comfortable with the campus and know their own batchmates so after the seniors arrive the actual college starts and then they and the our seniors started to brief us about all the things that they were there and let me tell you guys don't get overwhelmed because i got overwhelmed in the i got overwhelmed in the first week of my college because there were so many things to consider i would be debating i would be doing my notes i would be writing papers i would be doing my internships i would be doing my academics i will have to give up my i will have to give my projects i will have to do my vivas these things seemed too much in the beginning because when i entered the college i was fresh out of school and school was never this pressurizing there were never six subjects in six months so we have uh, two semesters in a year so six six subjects were never there and you know everything became overwhelming i was away from home so take your time adjust have a hobby that you never let go of and and take your time it's that's the only way to go through things take your time now that i'm in fifth year i'm deciding on my future plans right now as of now i've decided that i'll go for higher studies if not in uk then uh, definitely in india and i'm going to pursue my higher studies guys so clear up your mind what you want to do consider all your options whether this is the right thing for you or not don't go out on a whim you have to research about everything make it a habit to research about things if you want to become a lawyer so go ahead give your clat try new things out it's perfectly okay and even if you don't end up in an nlu life is going to be fine life is not just an nlu tag okay you will figure things out for yourself it's all going to be okay and life always have a way out and focus focus on what you want to do your mind is the clearest path even if somebody tells you you can't do something and in your mind you've set it clear that you will do this you will definitely achieve that thank you guys